Okay, this video is directed at Viola Player 1995. Sorry I didn't get to this until now. Um, so, what it looked like on your video was your hand looked a little bit like this, where your pinky was straight and your thumb was also straight. So, what I would recommend that you do is take your bow away, so you have this, and then bend your thumb. Start bending it as far as you can go, then let it relax, and bend it, and relax. Now, then what I want you to do is take your pinky and roll it, and then undo it, then roll it, straighten it. Okay, then I want you to do those two things, starting straight, and roll them. Straight, and roll them. Okay, and do that probably at least 10 times in a row, maybe 20, just to really get that feeling, because you want to be able to bend your, your joints here. And then when you bring your bow back on, and you have got this problem here, see if you can bend, and then straighten. Can you see that? Bend, straighten. And you want to end up bent, because bent is the way that you want to eventually become. So, my bow hold typically, from this angle, ends up like this. So when I'm playing, it kind of looks like, kind of looks like this. So, again, straighten, and then bend. Okay, so that should help with that. If you really are feeling tense, try tapping your pinky a few times and keep your thumb bent and try to tap your pinky a few times like this. Okay, and then you should be able to get a nice relaxed bow grip. And then for um, the Paganini Caprice, I haven't played this for a while, but um, this is kind of what I would do. So. And the next part, try to aim for the shift. And that way what you can what you do is you minimize the number of things that you need to think about at once. So just think about the shift. Shift again. Because it's on viola, I don't really know what fingerings you're going to use, but when I go up, I just try to keep it simple. So I'm using one, two, four. I'm not sure what that translates into on viola. And here, I'm staying in position. So, shift, and then stay in position, only hop my third finger over. And then extend up, and try to use your harmonics too, so, and that should help with your fingers. <laughs> 